So hello everyone. I stand before you to present my project that I made during Google Summer of Course 2023 for Rocket Chat. My project was guided Rocket Chat code walkthrough and tutorials. And my mentors for this project were Kevin and Singh. So about me, I'm Aditya Singh. I like to contribute to open source. I like to write code and break things. I'm a computer science engineering student from India. And I constantly try to learn new things and uh, implement them. Before we proceed further, I would like to thank my mentors, Kevin and Singh. They were always guiding me, correcting my mistakes. Whenever I had doubt, I used to ask them and they always solved it. So time for a demo. Before that, let's talk about the project overview. The project involves the development of set of guided tutorials using an extension which is present on VS Code, Code to Extension, that will help new developers to understand how to perform multiple actions and learn complete flow of code. So what was the need of this project and why do we need this? Everyone who is contributing to Rocket Chat knows how huge the code base is. And it is really difficult for a new contributor to understand the structure. It's too overwhelming for a new contributor. Like talking about me when I was new here, I, I wasn't able to understand it too, but I gave time and understood it. This project's core goal is to assist new developers by simplifying their entry to the Rocket Chat code base, which can be daunting due to its size and complexity. So far, we have created nine essential tools that will help newcomers on complement the uh, code base. We plan to expand this, these tools in future. So uh, these are the tools that uh, I have made till far, uh, so far. Uh, repository overview, how a message is sent, client side, how a message is sent, server side, how to create a new endpoint, how to use a DB model, how to uh, create a DB model, services in Rocket Chat, how to use services, and how to create packages. So uh, this is the extension that I have used during the project. Uh, anybody interested in testing it can go ahead and download this extension. And let me uh, demonstrate it. Uh, so there are around nine tools, as I have told before. Uh, anybody can just simply by uh, pressing Control Shift P or Command Shift P and get this option of Start Tool. When you click on it, you uh, get nine options. Let's uh, begin with how to send a message client side. Let's say uh, someone needs to fix a uh, a bug in the composer, message composer, you can just start here and traverse through the complete message sending procedure from one end to another end and uh, have complete idea of uh, how things are working internally, what API calls are being made, uh, what are the different methods that uh, message sending involves and multiple different things. And the developer would, uh, contributor would have a better understanding uh, he can just simply traverse like this to the next step. And uh, talking about if somebody needs to, you know, change some line, if he finds some typo or uh, wants to just upgrade it, like make it better, he can simply edit it. It's in a markdown format. Anybody can change things around here, save step, and uh, make a PR for it. Uh, so what were the challenges that I faced during uh, the project? The first challenge was, to be honest, understanding the code base. So if I need to teach someone how to do a thing, I need to firstly understand that how would I have uh, done it. So I spent around one to two uh, plus weeks understanding the complete architecture of Rocket Chat, studying about their APIs and uh, REST endpoints and uh, Meteor Framework, and multiple different tech stacks which are being used in Rocket Chat. And the biggest challenge I encountered was maintaining the tools. Since Rocket Chat's code base is evolving continuously, there are changes that might happen uh, in the uh, way the tools are you know, present. Let's say 
let's say uh, we are in, uh, looking for the how to send a message and some day there is a change in entire process which would cause a break in tool and developer uh, and the contributor would think uh, yeah that's not working how would i understand so that was the biggest challenge for me impact on the community it's an interactive tool and every year more than 500 contributors show interest in contributing to rocket chat like uh, last year uh, this year in gsoc 23 channel we had around 800 members who showed interest in rocket chat and tried to contribute but 90% of them end up leaving their journey just because they could not understand the tool, uh, code base so this project would surely increase contributors in coming years uh, so as i told you the problem of maintaining tools so uh, there is there is a solution for that is a github action code tool watch by implementing it we can pre, uh, we can you know have a look let's say uh, there is a change in a uh, line where tool is uh, present uh, during the pr we'll get a message that hey uh, your tool breaks please change your tool upgrade it with the help of this uh, future ideas currently the idea is to add more tools till now all tools are enough to give user an overview of structure and methods being used in rocket chat thank you and i'm uh, open for questions